Hi, in this particular video we're going to look at expand and simplify p minus 6 squared. Well all we mean by that is p minus 6 squared is exactly the same as saying p minus 6 times p minus 6. And then really it's just a case of working this through so that I'm going to look initially at if I have um, this. So I'm just going to look initially at multiply through by p. So I'm going to ignore the minus 6 part of it. So p times p is going to be p squared. And then p times minus 6 is going to be minus 6p. OK, so that really takes care of the first part where I've multiplied through by p. Now I need to multiply through by minus 6. So if I do that, I've got minus 6 times p is going to be minus 6p. OK, and I've got minus 6 times minus 6. Now you need to be really careful here because a minus times a minus is a positive. So it'll become 6 times 6, which is plus 36. I see uh, students dropping marks on this quite frequently, so this is a very much a key area. You need to really remember minus times a minus is a positive. OK, then it's just a case of tidying everything up, really. So I'm going to gather in the like terms, as it's called. So I've got p squared which stands on its own, and then I've got minus 6p minus 6p. Well, minus 6p minus 6p is minus 12p. OK, uh, that go like that, and then I've got plus 36 at the end. And that would be the answer to this particular question. I hope that's been useful for you. Please do add a comment below. Have a look at the rest of the playlist, and there are a number of other examples on it. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.